Hi guys! Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's time. This is the seventh reading vlog, the seventh book in the series and I'm just gonna start out. If you want to watch the rest, check them out. Um, there's six of them. I'll try to link them down below if I remember. I'll editing Aubrey put them there um but anyways yeah this is the seventh book I have started doing completely spoiler um vlogs since the last book I think the last book was the first one I did I also just realized my dryer's going so I'm sorry if you can hear it but we need to read this I always read these in one setting sitting not setting I just came back from um Florida and this was waiting for me and so I'm so so excited this one does look a little thinner I did hypothesize that this book would be the two next books would be about the two girls that were found at the end of the last book which was Varian's mate which I believe was Kira but I believe what happened is they found two extra pods and so two more girls obviously and so my hypothesis was that these two books would be about these by these two books I mean this book and then the next one that comes out in May or June um, but anyways I'm gonna read the back of this and then like I said we're just gonna vlog we're just gonna hang out while I read this I it's it's a guilty pleasure but it's really not even that guilty so Isla has never been more frightened in her life but when Rokan appears everything changes when I wake up on this ice planet I'm scared of everything this place is cold silent and the locals look more like blue devils than aliens to make matters worse, one of the strangers decides I'm going to be his girlfriend and kidnaps me away from my sister. I'm completely and utterly alone. What's a girl to do? Well, this girl escapes. Of course that means I go from the frying pan into fire and my situation gets even more dangerous. Just when I have no hope left, a new hero shows up. Sure, he's blue horned and has a tail. He's also fierce, protective, makes me purr and thinks I'm perfect. But is what we have real or just a mating instinct? So, I'm super excited. I don't even like, I don't even know what to expect. Um, I'm excited at this point. Yeah, look. We're at, we're at number seven right here. I don't worry guys, I already have, I already have the eighth one pre-orders, pre-ordered. So, we're going to be getting one then but anyways I'm so excited I do really appreciate always having the what has gone on before or what has gone before because six months in between isn't like that much time it really isn't but it is because I like remember some things but not all things so I'm gonna recap and then I'll just talk to you when I talk to you okay so our story does pick up from like towards the end -ish of the last book we read when Kira was running kind of from Hayden and they, um, sorry, not Kira, Josie, when Josie was kind of running away from her mating bond. And Kira, in the second book, destroyed another spaceship. I believe it's the second book. I'm pretty sure Kira was the second book. No, no, no. No, no, Liz was the second book. Kira was like the third or fourth. I don't know, somewhere in there. But she destroyed a, she had the ear, I believe, device, and she heard them coming, destroyed it. And while running away Josie found it and that's when they found the two the two sisters apparently I didn't know they were sisters but apparently they are so that's where we pick up I'm really excited I'm so glad I'm so glad let's see okay guys we have something new is she is deaf we haven't seen that I don't think we've definitely seen representation of sorts whether that be racial or economic I think but I think this is new I can't remember I can't remember anyone having like a physical disability so that's kind of fun uh, like it's fun to see a different representation because I feel like that adds another element to the story which I really appreciate so I'm liking it so far okay so they're going to get the coup or cooey however you say it I don't really know um, even after six books and they uh, they enforced a like a safety precaution where they tie a rope around the waist um, the barbarians the aliens and then the other end of the rope is tied to the women just so they don't like it caught up I know that happened in one book where a an animal just like well, picked her up um, 
But anyways, and Hassan, which is one of the unmated barbarians, has been kind of weird, has been giving me weird vibes, which I think it might be Rodin's brother. I, I'm, It's hard to tell. I thought it was, but now I'm not so sure. And he's been very weird, and he was the one that is tying his waist. And based off of the back, I'm assuming he's going to kind of take her away, and Rodin is going to save her. That's the prediction. I need to get a blanket because I'm freezing. But that's the update right now. Really fast as I start this chapter, um, he has like a knowing, which I think is kind of fun. It adds an element to the story. So, yeah. Okay, so Hassan just took Lila and they're not brothers actually. I was wrong about that. I was like, that would be really weird. But yeah, so um, Ronan, Rokan, Rokan um, is not very happy with that. So we'll see what happens. Lila was unconscious when she was taken. So this chapter will be her waking up. So I'm very excited to see what she thinks of this entire thing. This is literally awesome because there's a Twilight reference in here and I just, I love Twilight so much so this is so fun. Like, ah! Okay, this is so silly. I know it's gonna like come up later. So it's just Maddie, the sister who knows ASL to communicate with Lila. She gave him the finger and, um, and Rokan goes... She gestures at me with one finger and that puzzles me. Does she think I speak their hand language? I decide to memorize the signal in case I need it to talk to Lila. I practice it a few times and pack my bags for the morning. I just know that he's gonna flip her off and she's gonna be like, what the fuck? But anyways. Okay, I think there might be more types of aliens because I'm really confused because it they're described as a yeti they have eyes they crouch down they're male they talk with their hands together okay that's really interesting okay they were actually met metlax which we've heard about um in previous previous novels they're kind of like they're not the best um to to our uh to our alien guys but um, they did resonate, but they're like, she doesn't know that yet. He knows it, but he's like trying to keep it in his pants. And we just jump forward to three days later. So he's learning how to sign, which I personally think is really cute. I love, like, I love, I don't actually love miscommunication, but I love like, I can't talk to you miscommunication if that makes sense first book in the series because they didn't speak the same language that is just so much more interesting to me I love it but anyways there's an update hey guys okay so it's actually two days later crazy because I always finish this these books at one sitting but anyways yesterday was Ruth's birthday the last time I talked to you guys was Saturday so the 6th and I fell asleep reading I fell asleep reading. Ah, I don't even remember where I was. I think I was on chapter 12, maybe. But I fell asleep, and then yesterday I was out of commission for Ruth's birthday. So, uh, it, today's Monday. It is raining. I babysat this morning. I actually just finished putting up a whiteboard. I've never had a whiteboard, and I'm so excited. And it's an acrylic whiteboard, which I really like to look up. My walls are busy. Sorry, guys. There's a lot up there, but... I, I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I just finished setting that up and I do work. I have to go into the office today. So before I have to get ready, I thought I would read. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and yeah, I don't really remember where we're at. I know that they've made it and I think that they're heading back to the, oh no, they haven't headed back to the cave. So Lila wants to learn how to survive on her own. And so Rokan is like, Hassan go back to the the tribal cave and we oh, it's snowing outside guys oh my gosh it's so crazy I have to drive to work <laughs> I'm like oh it's snowing but then I'm like really no don't snow please don't snow um but anyways sorry I'm getting distracted I am going to I'm just gonna read update you guys later let's go just realized she actually doesn't know that she's going to be staying with his, uh, with Rokan, so I'm feeling like she's probably going to feel 
not okay with that because she wants to see her sister obviously so okay guys so Rokan learned how to speak sign language which is so exciting and he obviously told her like hey we're mates and she was like not okay with that obviously she has to be like is this real is this actually real or is this fake love that but anyways it's going on they're not really talking because she's like i need some space i need some space and he's like he's backing off and then a day comes he's teaching her again how to hunt fish all these things and the day goes by he's like we should not go out today like something bad's gonna happen and she's like what do you mean and he's like it's just my knowing and she's like what does that even mean they go out there's an avalanche he's like passed out right now and they just came to the metlac Met metlac i think that's how you pronounce it the one that um took her to his cave earlier that was when i was like kind of confused like oh are these people or whatnot but he's here and he's like kind of talking to her and Rokan's passed out. He has a concussion or something because Avalanche took him out. So I'm very excited. We are flying through. I'm like, I really would like to finish this before work, but I need to leave. It's like snowing outside. I kind of want to show you guys. Um, hopefully you guys can like kind of see it out there. But it is white and I don't want to get in a crash going to work so i'll probably have to leave a little bit early so i'm gonna try to read as much as i possibly can guys i just finished it um obviously we know the next book is going to be about maddie i'm pretty excited I think that video will be coming in june but yeah rating it three stars i rate all of these books three stars they're honestly so interesting and like genuinely so fun to read i'm gonna be honest um yeah i am really happy that i read this looking forward to the next one like i already said hopefully you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts and i'll talk to you guys later peace and love bye guys